Good afternoon, my beautiful brothers and sisters in Yeshua. Today is Sunday, the 17th of September, 2023. It is 12.42 p.m. here in Australia. I hope you're all really well. I hope you're blessed. Brothers and sisters, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, <laughs> what a time we live in. How blessed are we to be the generation that sees Yeshua Jesus Christ coming back in the clouds to come and grab us. This is out of this world. The signs are out of this world, brothers and sisters. So... Um, I just wanted to come and bring you a quick video this morning. Well, hopefully it's quick, um, but basically because I had this massive revelation last night and as I was doing studies, whatever, and I went to bed and I was watching TikTok and then somebody literally said exactly the same thing as I, what I wrote down and I thought when I wrote it down that it was so random and so weird, I wonder why, that I copied and pasted it and put it into my studies. And then I saw this video. Anyway, I will uh, explain but um, many of you guys obviously are watching Hourly Watch with Patrick and the, um, the Revelation 12 signs with all the asteroids and comets and everything that um, have these massively biblical names. Well, his most recent one, his latest one, is unbelievable, showing you the red dragon. Comet Nishimiru is actually turned red and he has had uh, a brother, his brother's, not his his brother in Christ, um, his wife's sister or friend has uh, photographed it and filmed it. Absolutely amazing. We're gonna we'll check that out in a sec. But I want to show you something incredible because it relates to today, the seventeenth Sunday, the seventeenth of September, and I had to get this out to you now because I'm so blessed that Australia is kind of like a day in front, so that I can get this message out now. Um, so I took these screenshots. This is the TikTok channel I was talking about, September to Remember. And uh, this other, see, I wrote this comment here. This was last night. I wrote, oh my goodness, in my studies tonight, I came across an article talking about 153 triangles 17. I copied and pasted without knowing why. Then I see this. Okay, so. <clears throat> So this is my studies that I was doing last night. Um, basically, I was trying to look more into uh, Comet Nishimiru and everything like this. And um, I will go over all of this in a minute. Right now, because I know people only have a short attention span, I want to get straight to what I'm talking about here. So all my studies down here. And we come all the way to the end. And then I have this little cut and paste bit down here okay this little cut and paste bit down here and because I was reading this article because I was trying to go into the depths of the internet basically and find anything to do with September 23 no matter how far back right and then there was this whole uh, blog that somebody had written and for some reason I just took snippets out of their blog and one of them was 153 is the 17th triangular number fish in Peter's net, post-resurrection, the, uh, the resurrection, and um, and so why that's so significant, brothers and sisters, I'll, I will get back to all the other stuff, I might make a video later on, just to keep this video short, so I've written this down, and even as, I've not written it down, but I copied and pasted it, but even as I was doing it, I'm like, I don't know why, because it, you know, I'm I'm not big with math you know I always say that I'm not I'm not a very good math person I love numbers absolutely love numbers because I mean there's a whole book in the Bible called numbers so I know my father who is the perfect mathematician perfect scientist the perfect everything healer whatever okay God is absolutely perfect and so is his beautiful and wonderful son but um, I just thought that was such a random thing in this person's post and like I said so then I go to bed and then I um, I see this this I actually sent this to myself in my email now I'm gonna let you listen to it uh, from the beginning it's a t it's a 10 minute video so um, maybe yeah, we'll, we'll we'll listen to with, all of it. Uh, on the 70, on the, the, the SDGs uh, summit, right? Uh, the 
I just wanted to stop there that 153 means I adore you the other day a woman um, uh, glass glass darkly ministries I think it was she got led in the spirit to look up um, if there was a comet one uh, sorry 726 you know for Hapazo right and it was called Joella and Joella literally means uh, um, I adore you and I'm just like, what is going on here? So this, I know, I hope I'm making sense, brothers and sisters, because this is really amazing, okay? Because I pray to Father all the time. I, I've never really wanted signs from him because I want to be accounted fully on my faith and my belief in the unseen. I know I can feel it within my spirit, within my soul. Um, as tempted as I am to ask him for rapture dreams and confirmations and things like that, I always, in the back of my heart and back of my spirit, I always just want to be accounted worthy fully for my faith. So I don't need to see these signs. I do have one sign in my heart and in my soul that I've talked to Father about. Um, I haven't seen that as of yet in its full form. I've seen parts of it. And that sign that I will receive, as soon as I get it, obviously I'll be on here like a, a lightning flash to let you know. Um, I don't want to say what it is because I don't want to put it out in the open. It's between me and the Father. But um, this, to me, for me, was unbelievable. Because like I said, when I copied and pasted that thing about uh, the 153 um, 17 triangles, I don't know why on earth I did that because I was like, anyway. And then I came across this one. And um, anyway, I'll let you listen to a little bit more of this. And then I want to show you something else, which is absolutely incredible. Amen. You see that? Uh huh. Yeah. So I believe this is the weekend, guys. Are you talking about the seventeenth of Sunday? Because we were just talking about that. Seventeenth Sunday. We're on the same note, brother. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's funny you said that because I was feeling because that storm is coming between the 17th and 18th in New York City. So we have found proof that they're yeah. throwing fake news for the 18th and 19th. That it's really on the 16th to 17th that they're doing this whole thing in the first place. And they're trying to throw us off. But see, God has been giving us hint by hint through this thing. Can everybody share? Brother Joe, will you share why we know it's not on the 18th and 19th now? Did you hear that? <clears throat> First, Thess First Thessalonians 5 3. 1 5 3. Brothers and sisters, remember ages ago, last year, oh, not last year, this year in April, I did a whole big thing on April 1st. And then there's my beautiful sister who sent me her dream about how the rapture was going to happen on April 1st. And that's truly the day that Christ was crucified. And April Fool's Day in Grammatria was 153. So that's amazing that it's First Thessalonians 5.3. Like you said, it was talking about the woman, um, you know, in Revelation, right? He's going to escape us from this place, as it showed, right? As it yes. Says, before the baby's born. That's when the, wrath, that's when the wrath of God comes out. And so the rapture has to happen, and that's the wrath. That's right. Before the baby can come out, we have to be taken up, and then the baby's coming out as we literally go up. And that's the wrath, because when the rapture happens, it's going to get chaos. That's right. Daniel 1140, brother. 
Hey, hey, so can I? Go ahead. So can I share my uh, my uh, my rapture dream with you, brother? So it's yeah. complete chaos on the ground. Two white doves fly up over the chaos, go in front of four oh, pyramids. Now triangles, four triangles, and I thought they were pyramids, but you just said triangle, which means seventeen. Like you were saying, I adore you, or whatever you were saying. It's significant oh, yeah. to my rapture dream oh, yeah. because there was four oh, pyramids oh, stacked oh, on top of each other, oh, and. I just wanted to, as I was listening to this again, I hope you can understand because some of the, um, the the writing is not actually saying what they're saying. But um, I was just thinking as I was looking at these pyramids and triangles and stuff now, you know, remember that uh, Swedish boy's um, dream of the rapture, which said was going to happen, um, what do you call it? Um, this was in 2018 I believe that little Swedish boy's rapture dream and he said that we were all going to get brought to the foot of a pyramid in Egypt or something like that and um, he's, the reason his father took that vision down was because the Passover had um, you know come and gone and so you know the father just took the vision down but um, you know like most dreams and visions we get them as warnings as pre-warnings right and for a future time and like I have always stated Nissan or Tishri rather that we're going in the the trumpets right um, is Tishri was originally the first month brothers and sisters before the Exodus the Passover a father in Exodus 12 he said this is going to be the beginning of months for you the beginning of the year and he changed it to Nissan so originally um, this is why Passover when you read Leviticus 23 again with the 23 right this is why when you read Leviticus 23 and you read about the seven feasts um, it talks about um, when you look at Passover alongside the seventh month they match perfectly all right so you've got day one in in the first month nissan okay you have um where father says in exodus 12 this is going to be the beginning of months for you the beginning of a year for you in the seventh month you have the feast of trumpets right the feast of trumpets in the first month on the 10th day you have them bringing in a lamb to inspect the barley right the barley and then um on the seventh month on the 10th day is the day of atonement then in the first month in the passover season the 14th going into the 15th at evening was passover right when christ was crucified in the seventh month on the 15th day you have tabernacles right and then um on the first month on the 17th day <laughs> the 17th day right 1 17 you have um, the resurrection of Christ and on the um, what do you call it on the seventh month on the 17th day that's when you start counting the sheaf offering and that is 717 now brothers and sisters I, I hope you can understand because I want to let you listen to a bit more of this and I pray that you can understand this um, this video yeah. And you were just talking about a triangle, and I've been trying to connect me right now for this day. Yes, you said we're all connected for this day. I've got the Holy Spirit all over oh. me. Oh, 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 oh,
Yes, it is. That's what I got earlier because I saw it with Trump too. Even his followers are talking about the seventeenth. Yes. That's and his number is seven. Yes. Oh Jesus! I got holy goosebumps all over me. His presence. So we need to um, mute if Sister goes into receiving something. Yeah. Uh, what were you saying, brother, about the the triangle? No, you're fine. I'm not receiving. Go ahead. <laughs> What were you saying, Brother Alex, about the triangle? Did that mean the 17, which is that what yes. you're saying, which is I adore you? Yes. Oh, yes. my God. I already feel it. it. <laughs> no coincidence, y'all. We never felt anything like this before. No. Never. Brother Joe, I know you felt that. Come on, brother. Yeah. It's all I mean, I have chills all uh, over. Uh, my uh, ears really uh, stood uh, up uh, on my yeah. body. Yes. yes. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes, we yeah. can. The devil didn't want you part of this. It's the triangular number for 153 is 17, and it means I adore you. I remember seeing this from where Father led me to the triangle thing. I don't know how to explain it. On a, on somewhere, somebody was playing with the triangle, and then 153, and it equals 17. Wasn't it last year, Minister Joe, I came around this strange stuff, and now it makes sense. Y yes, yes. Alex we are the fish. 
We are the fish. We are the fish. We are the true church. Amen. We had to be we had to be pulled out of the waters, if you know what I mean. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yanked up the net. Yes, I do remember. Also, what I'm getting from this, sorry, go ahead, uh, sister, if you need to speak, if it's urgent. I was, just, I was just saying, I wanted Alex to look at the triangle. These are how the triangles are stacked. In like this? Tell me, tell me. Let me see. Sister Sarah. And Alex, if you could look at the flat. That's oh, my God, I didn't know it was like that. All right, so thank you for being patient and listening to that. That, brothers and sisters, is absolutely amazing. I don't know if you understand the relevance to that, um, but when I go back to my studies that I did last night, um, okay, here is a picture here of... Um, Comet Nishimiru. Okay, that's on uh, September 23 there because I was looking all about September 23. Um, here I was doing. Um, oh, basically, you, you can switch off now. I, I'd love to share the rest of my studies with you, but um, that was the most important thing. Oh, before you go, before you go, um, this, 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 this. Okay, um, when you type in, I, I don't know if it's on an Android phone, but on a, what do you call it, on a, um, um, on an iPhone, when you type in calendar, July 17th comes up. What month is July, brothers and sisters? Month 7, 717. Okay, and what does September actually mean? What does Sept mean? Seven. Have they been showing us this all along? 717. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm just going to grab my Bible. I'm going to go to Genesis 717. If I'm not mistaken. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 717 in Genesis is and the flood was 40 days upon the earth and the waters increased and bare up the ark and it was lifted up above the earth <laughs> oh praise you father oh my goodness brothers and sisters I'm so excited I'm so absolutely excited see I'm right down here July equals 7 September equals 7 717 okay and let's have a look we will go to um and you know i had a quick look to see if that storm that she was talking about that was this the other thing she was saying that they're actually going to have that un meeting before they're actually doing it in secret before like this weekend so it's going to come like a snare so everyone's waiting for the like the 18th and 19th when really it's the 16th and 17th so I don't know how true that is, but it wouldn't surprise me at the least. And so she said, you know, um, there's a storm coming this, uh, the 16th and 17th. So I had started looking for a storm in New York and remembered from my studies ages ago, um, it said on the article here, um, Hurricane Lee not expected to directly hit New York. Uh, Connecticut or New Jersey but storm may impact Long Island's coast where is Long Island brothers and sisters in Babylon New York okay this this Long Island here that comes off the side of New York it's literally called Babylon okay so if you go to Stellarium the 17th right September the 17th look where the child is Okay, because everybody wants to say here, you know, it's because the picture's underneath, the man-drawn picture, but the stars, brothers and sisters, the stars, the child has literally, it's coming out of the bottom of the woman on the 17th. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, brothers and sisters, I do not know, but... 717 seems very significant to me and this is why the enemy has tried to change times and laws and something is going down brothers and sisters so um, 
yeah I'm going what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this just one video and then I'm going to come back and make a part two because I know that I, I really want this to get out so if I keep it shorter more people are going to watch it so I'm going to come back and do the second part and show you the rest of my studies but what I wanted to bring to your attention was the 17th and the fact that, like I said, that I rec that I copied and pasted that thing about the 153, um, you know, is like seven, the 17 triangle, whatever. I was like, that's so weird. And then I seen this and it just makes so much sense because Resurrection Day, Sunday, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just everything. I, th I just truly think that it's going to be sooner rather than later. Um, because a lot of people, I notice a lot of people now because we're coming closer to the dates and now, you know, the, the Feast of Trumpets is so-called being um, started, whatever, a lot of people are dropping off in faith and I'm starting to think that a lot of people are going to start, they've already had reservations and I mean I did at the beginning too about this Revelation 12 sign but since Patrick's shown, like here's the one, um, this here, Rapture, Dragon, Nishimiro. Let's see where I, if I can just play. Caught it last night in Florida, in the AM. And, and there appeared that. another wonder in heaven. Look and at behold, that. a great red dragon. And his tail drew a third part of the stars and did cast them to the earth. And the... That... Is Comet Nishimura <laughs> and it was originally green brothers and sisters and now it's turned red exactly like Patrick said it would uh, oh, oh man I just I can't even comprehend at the moment like I said I'm gonna keep this short brothers and sisters I love you look up our redemption draws extremely near we have to be caught up out of here the promise is sure don't fall away from faith there's so many high watch periods coming up. Like I said, I'm going to talk about it in the next video. I'll keep this short. All right. I love you. God bless you. If I don't see you in the next video, it could happen right now. <laughs> then um, I'll, I'll uh, see you in the skies. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.